<laughs> oh, I don't know. I want the pizza creeper. All right. I've got a lot of stuff. Now I need to grab that bucket of water before I go look for the lava. Because, you know. Yeah, because, you know. What I actually want to find is a skeleton because I want some bones so I can get some bone meal. I don't want that zombie at the doorway. The sad thing is I know that as soon as I go into the nether, it's going to be like, and lag. Okay. Oh, there's a skeleton. Good bone connected to the dick bone. On some people, at least that's how it seems. The fuck am I doing in this cave now? Damn it. Oh, what am I? Okay, I managed to walk around in a circle and find my way back up to where we started. Lovely. Now. Mistakes! Mistakes were made! Well, I can see a lava pool on the cave map, at least, so maybe I'll luck out and spot one. Uh, where's my sword? That's why I'd probably have easier time searching for above ground lava pools. Okay, let's go find those skeletons now that I'm better equipped. I also realize I have no idea what direction I've been heading right now, so I'm probably irrevocably and irredeemably lost. Also digging in the dark again. Now there's a witch chasing me. Well, obviously you did something to deserve it. Like exist. And I just fell I into a cave. God damn it. Teleporting? Sigh. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, which one's the most current? <laughs> <laughs> Which is my most common, or my most up-to-date death. <laughs> 146, that would be the one. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this cave once I teleport there and get my stuff back, but, you know. Uh, that's something you can worry about after you're there. Where even is my gravestone? I shouldn't be using this diamond pick for stupid, wasteful things. No, probably not. I can pick up some uranium now, can I? Yes. Okay, I have a slight problem in that I cannot find my uh, gravestone. I'm kind of wondering if it's on the surface. It may very well be. Although I don't think I was dead before I got down here in the cave. Time to try and mine straight up and down in hopes I find a lava pool. Hmm. Definitely here, the fucker. Where it is is another question. According this map, I'm sitting on top of it. That's possible. I'm saying, well, the map also appears to be a liar. Okay, I've got experience orbs up there, so... I might actually have died up there, technically. The magic of lag. Yeah. The lagic. Lagic. Um... No, I still don't see a gravestone. That's troubling. Cough, cough, off camera. Um, no. Nah. I don't know, I'd kind of like to find my stuff, just, you know, for the purpose of where'd my stuff go. Well, you can always, you know, go looking for it in creative. Hmm. Because it's a little bit, as far as I know, your gravestone won't actually disappear. Right, uh -huh. it's just a matter of where did it go? Yeah. Where did it where did it land, I guess? Yeah, where does where is the important stuff? 
This is a question of our times. Where is the important stuff be? Hmm. My death marker is definitely down here. I see lava pool on this map, and you guys are dicks, and I hate you. Damn it, there's a creeper. I'm worried about it down in a burning ring of lava face. Listen, town guard stranded down here. Do your job and shoot that creeper. Damn it! There we go. Time not to dig directly under my feet. Did the creeper maybe, like, uncover my gravestone? No. 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 Well, look at the bright side. That also means it didn't destroy it without you realizing it. I guess, yeah. I will find a bright side. Of course, there's also now a skeleton shooting me. Good lord, this is taking longer than I ever... Maybe that means that the Periodot pickaxe does Oh, is that up. it? No, it doesn't. Okay, found my gravestone. Hooray! Get rid of all this crap. Honestly, at this point, I would be fine with removing the gravestone mod and putting on keep inventory. We're dealing with some rather... I cannot break obsidian with a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're dealing with some high-end, long-term goals here. Losing shit would kind of be... Uh... Suck? Yes, it would be suck on one of the most primal levels. Like the elemental plane of suck. It is also where the angel's mom is from. Ah, right. On the elemental plane of diseased horror. Let's see, would there happen to be any uh, bones left up here? Because I saw some skeletons die a while ago. Nope, there's an arrow. That's helpful. I had some friends talking about, you know, in Dungeons and Dragons, technically a dimension based around anything can technically exist. Uh-huh. And we're having you know, ideas about what would sound right, like the elemental plane of blankets was what someone said, but <laughs> I don't think, I, you know, his argument is that it would always be, like, not overheating or stuffy because if you're dealing with it, you're supposed to be dealing with, like, the most platonically perfect form of it. Uh huh. So the blankets would always be perfectly warm and snuggly. Right. And, you know, freshly laundered and soft. As someone else mentioned, the, their idea of the uh, semi elemental plane of ranch dressing. <laughs> <laughs> like it would be like the elemental plane of water, but not. Because it would be ranch. Like, okay. Or I could just find, you know, an emerald laying on the ground randomly, because that's cool, too. I think that the, uh, occasionally, the guards, if you kill monsters in the towns, will either drop them for you, or when they die, they drop an emerald. Well, either way... <laughs> now you just need, uh, none more, right? Yeah, I've got my, uh, requirement. I'm trying to remember what the minimum number required obsidian for a portal is. Seven or ten. I've got twelve. I'm fairly certain that's enough, but should I grab more so that I don't have to do this? Actually, I think yes. you need ten minimum, actually. Because three on each side and two on top and bottom. <laughs> grab two more that right? way I can make an enchanting table. Because I just looked down and realized that I am experience level 42. Well, I'd probably be pretty high experience level 2 if I didn't keep dying. Yeah. As it is, I should probably feel accomplished that I'm still level 13. Uh, now. Eh. Eh. Alright, time to just build the fuck up. I'm probably walking in the wrong direction. I don't even know what direction I'm going. I, unfortunately, on the way down here... Uh, just kind of started wandering and stopped paying attention to where I was or how I got there. Good move. Well, you know, I like to make life an adventure. Mm -hmm. Needlessly. <laughs> I should say, I like to needlessly complicate things. You like to needlessly adventure things. Ah, actually, I found the exit relatively simply. 
Needless adventure. It's a needless adventure, Charlie. I wonder. I wonder if I can turn the uranium dust into something poisonous. Worth a try. Yeah. Not you, what I'm doing. Ah. I was going to say, if anyone's going to end up getting poisoned with uranium dust, it's not going to be me. Well, actually, no, it will be, but then it'll be you after I figure out how to do it. How to weaponize it, yeah. Yeah, how to weaponize it on purpose, not counting, oops, I accidentally murdered myself. There, eh. that iron there. What in the hell did I go down there for in the first place? Obsidian. Yes, I need to go to the Nether now. <laughs> right, Oop, that's so. an oil pit. I don't want to walk through that. Hopefully, a flint and steel is still made with iron now that there's actual steel in the game. Yes, it is. Good. I don't think it replaces the. You yeah. Know, I, I don't know. I, uh. Right, first thing, before I do anything like that, I'm going to. I need iron. There's that iron. Oh, I saw some great world generation in the, uh. World I'm testing stuff in where one of these, uh, meteors generated in the side of a mountain. Mm -hmm. And it just, like, swept the whole side of the mountain away to expose stone. That's pretty neat, actually. Yeah. sort this stuff later. I'm kind of glad the stuff just kind of generates in and isn't a, uh, you know, active process like that one meteor mod we used. Yeah, that was a bit much. I'm I mean, bit... it was it was entertaining, but... Oh, yeah, except when, you know, meteors would start hitting your homes. Uh, to be fair, I, to be fair, I'm pretty sure I crafted a thing that attracted meteors to our home. You did. You crafted a meteor summoning weapon. I know it's not technically a weapon, but it was in your hands. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, seven. There you go, and blam. Nether portal. Time to go die, embarrassingly. That's what you do. You just need glowstone. I actually need a lot of things, but glowstone is the easiest one. This is probably get, some, gonna... get some quartz if you can while you're there. Alright, I'll try. I mean, that should be actually easier to obtain than the glowstone. The oh, fuck is this shit? Smoldering grass. <laughs> Green grow shroom. Are you sure that's not glow the shroom? The smoldering glass sets you on grass sets you on fire. Oh. And it is green glow shroom. Alright, so So these don't... iron these iron chests have more capacity, right? Iron chests have the capacity of a what? Oh a double chest each. Oh god, it's a nether beehive. I forgot about the nether bees. <laughs> And I'm on fire again. <laughs> the nether bees are actually very hostile and bad. Ash blocks. I think that's actually useful for something, but I'm not... Uh, particularly... Yeah, it breaks down into ashes. Who'd have fucking thunk it? <laughs> I need to get over there. Okay, so I need... Soul sand. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the soul sand in order to get up to the damn thing. I don't even see any actual netherrack. Everything's covered in this horrible burning crap. Chlamydia. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of mushroom trees here. It's really weird. Right. Well, everything has to live somewhere, I guess. No, it doesn't. These are abominations that should never have lived. No bee. <laughs> like I start making a pile a tower pile so that I can climb up to get to the glowstone yeah. and a bee just walks up and starts buzzing at it <laughs> uh, alright 
I somehow entered that stage where, like, you need an even number of sticks for something, mm. but you have an odd number in inventory, and you just can't ever resolve it. Yeah, I usually, one that happens to make a single torch, just to, you know, not have that annoying problem. Because mm. you're just saying, you're going, how did I even end up with this? I haven't made a sword in ages. <laughs> I know there's a way to get glowstone from, like, villagers or something. Or you can go kill witches. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can. Hello, zombie pig man. I'm your friend. You don't need to be anywhere near me. I hope I'm making the right thing. That's one of the other things that's bad with Feed the Beast. When you find out that you haven't been making the right thing for two hours... All right. That's probably fine. Time to... What the fuck is that? Cobalt ore. Can I mine that? I do not think so with how slow that is mining. Uh, let's see. All right. Now, where is my... Oh, yeah. I was supposed to make a thing. All right, time to... Which thing was I making? Come on. Not the bees. Not the bees. <laughs> What are you? Not a bee. Oh, you're a zombie pig man in a hat. Oh. Ow. Stop pushing me on to the fire blocks, bee. <laughs> and I'm dead. Oh, man. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm way too amused. I'm way too annoyed. All I want to do is make a goddamn circuit and bees. Bees. And I hope it makes a tombstone in the nether, and I hope it didn't fall in the lava. Those are important considerations, yes. Okay, I think I need those there. That's tin. Do I not have iron on me? No, I don't. Okay, start over. Punch this bee to death real quick. That's... Very typically a bad idea. I'm gonna need those two. No, you don't get to fly away. You don't get to fly away, B. Okay. I'm just saying, generally in life, you don't want to punch a B. It was 43 experience levels. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not just me now. Uh, right, the emeralds. I forgot I even had on armor. That's kind of funny. Kind of sad. What type? All right, I don't know what that is, but okay. I have the debuff amphibian. Huh. Okay. That is a flo floating orb of light. I don't trust that. There aren't supposed to be floating orbs of light. Not generally, no. It is flying around and does not appear to be doing anything, though. All right. Not doing anything harmful. I'm on fire. <laughs> it's talking to me. It's actually talking to me. I'm kind of concerned. Yeah, I would be. I'm concerned. The noise it's making are actually internal at this point. Not external. <laughs> Where the fuck is the exit? Come on. Hmm. Okay, so I need some string and some leather for the easy version. I don't even know where the fucking portal... Alright, we're flying around until we spot the damn portal. Just, I don't know where it went. Right over there. Bring me back a couple extra things of glowstone if you can, too. Uh, I got what I got, and I'm getting out. <laughs> if there's any left, it is yours. No, I just need two. Oh, there's going to be plenty for that, then. Uh, also, where do slime balls go? On um, one of them chests. Oh, okay, there they are. I have two glowstone. I think they landed near you. Um, right. yeah, I got them, thank you. So what the hell was the thing I was making? 
Um, okay, so if you can be patient 